Shocking new details emerging from that threat against Los Angeles public schools yesterday. Good evening. I'm Tim Callahan. And I'm Jackie Parks. Today, 23 ABC News has learned that Bakersfield was threatened as well. And 23 ABC's James Johnson joins us from our newsroom with what local officials are saying about not being notified. James. Jackie, the email sent out to the Los Angeles Unified School District yesterday that led to the closing of all the schools in that area has been released and Bakersfield was included in that threat. However, no local agencies were ever notified. The email threat that prompted school officials in Los Angeles to close all 900 of their schools Tuesday has been released. In it, the sender talks about a group of attackers, more than 30 attacking every school in the district. Today, we find out Bakersfield was also mentioned in that threat. Our office did not receive that threat email, nor did any other um, school official in Kern County that I'm aware of. The message also mentions pressure cooker bombs hidden in backpacks that would be detonated via cell phone. The email goes on to say if school is canceled, the bombings would still take place and it would bring out their guns to the streets and offices of Los Angeles, San Bernardino, Bakersfield, and San Diego. If we would have known about these things yesterday, um, we would have worked with law enforcement and the school officials to uh, put together a, an action plan and to figure out if we would have done something uh, similar to what LA did. Local law enforcement says they too had no idea Bakersfield was mentioned in the threat. Why we didn't receive that information, we don't know at this point. The Kern County Sheriff's Department says they do speak to other law enforcement agencies routinely and pass information along that may affect their area. We certainly would have liked to have received the information. Uh, the way we look at it is the more information we have, that we're going to be able to analyze and use to protect the citizens of Kern County and, and the people of Kern County. The more information we have, the better off we are. In the meantime, both the superintendent and local law enforcement are looking for answers. Now, 23 ABC News has tried to reach out to the officials in Los Angeles about why local agencies weren't notified and are still waiting for a response. We'll continue to monitor the situation and bring you any updates on our mobile and tablet apps along with our website, turn to 23.com. In the newsroom, James Johnson, 23 ABC. The